Daniel 4. King Nebuchadnezzar, to the people, nations, and men of every language who live in all the world, may you, may you prosper greatly. It is my pleasure to tell you about the miraculous signs and wonders that the Most High God has performed for me. How great are his signs, how mighty his wonders. His kingdom is eternal. His kingdom is an eternal kingdom. His dominion endures from generation to generation. Never, I, Nebuchadnezzar, was at home in my palace, content and prosperous. I had a dream that made me afraid as I was lying in my bed. The images and visions that passed through my mind terrified me. So I commanded them, I commanded that all the wise men of, e of Babylon be brought before me to interpret the dream for me. When the magicians, enchanters, astrologers, and diviners came I told them the dream but they could not interpret it for me finally Daniel came into my presence and I told him the dream he is called Belshazzar after the name of my God and the spirit of the holy gods the holy gods is in him I said, Belshazzar, chief of the magicians, I know that the spirit of the holy God is in you, and no mystery is too difficult for you. Here is, here is my dream. Interpret it for me. These are the visions I saw while lying in my bed. I looked and there before me stood a tree in the middle of the land. Its height was enormous. The tree grew large and strong, and its top touched the sky. It was visible to the ends of the earth. The leaves were beautiful, its fruit abundant, and on it was food for all. Under it the beast of the field found shelter, and birds of the air lived in its branches. From it every creature was fed. In the vision I saw while lying in my bed I looked, and there before me was a messenger, a holy one, coming down from heaven. He called out in a loud voice, Cut down the tree and trim off its branches, strip, strip off its leaves, and, shatter its, and scatter its fruit. Let the, let the animals flee from under it and the birds from its branches but let the stump and its roots bound with iron and bronze remain in the ground in the grass of the field let him be let him be drenched with the dew of heaven, and let him live with the animals among the plants of the earth. Let his mind be changed from that of a man, and let him be given the mind of an animal, till seven times pass by for him. The decision is announced by messengers. The Holy One de 
the holy ones declare the verdict so that the living may know that the most high is sovereign over the kingdom of men and give them to anyone he wishes and sets over them the lowest of men lowliest of men this is the dream that I King Nebuchadnezzar had now Belshazzar tell me what it means for none of the wise men in the kingdom can interpret it for me but you can because the spirit of the holy God is on is in you then Daniel also called Belshazzar was greatly perplexed for a time and his thoughts terrified him so the king said Belshazzar do not let the dream or its interpretation or, or its meaning alarm you Belshazzar answered my lord if only the dream applied to your enemies and its meaning to your adversaries the tree you saw which grew large and strong with its top touching the sky visible to visible to the whole earth with beautiful leaves and abundant fruit providing fruit food for all giving shelter to the beasts of the field and having nesting places in the branches for the birds of the air you O king are that tree you have become great and strong your greatness has grown until it reaches the, the sky and your dominion extends to distant parts of the earth you O king saw a message saw a messenger a holy one coming down from heaven and saying cut down the tree and destroy it but leave the stump bound with iron and bronze in the grass of the field while its roots remain in the ground let him be drenched with dew of heaven let him live like the wild animals until seven times pass by for him this is the interpretation of king and this is the decree the most high has issued against my lord the king you will be driven away from people and will live with the animals you will eat grass like cattle and be drenched with the dew of heaven seven times will pass by you for you until you acknowledge that the most high is sovereign over the kingdoms of men and gives them to anyone he wishes the command to leave the stump of the tree with its roots means that your kingdom will be restored to you when you acknowledge the he that heaven rules therefore O king be pleased to accept my advice renounce your sins by doing what is right and your wickedness by being kind to your oppressed to the oppressed it will be that it may be that then your prosperity will continue all this happened to King Nebuchadnezzar 12, year, 
12 months later as the king was walking on the roof of the royal palace of Babylon. He said, Is not this the great Babylon I have built as the royal residence by my mighty power and for the glory of my majesty? The words were still on his lips when a voice came from heaven. This is what I decree for you, King Nebuchadnezzar. Your royal authority has been taken away from you. You will be driven away from people and will live with wild animals. You will eat grass like cattle. Seven times will pass by for you until you acknowledge that the Most High is sovereign over the kingdoms of men and give them to and gives them to anyone he wishes immediately he immediately what had been said about Nebuchadnezzar was fulfilled he was driven away from people and ate grass like cattle his body was drenched with the dew of heaven until his hair grew like the feathers of an eagle and his nails like the claws of a bird as or at the end of that time in at the end of that time I Nebuchadnezzar raised my eyes to toward heaven and my sanity was restored then I praised the Most High. I honored and glorified Him who lives forever. His dominion is an eternal dominion. His kingdom endures from generation to generation. All the peoples, all the peoples of the earth are regarded as nothing. He does as He pleases with the power of heaven and with the people of the earth no one can no one can hold back his hand or say to him what what have you done at the same time that my sanity was restored my honor and splendor were returned to me for the glory of my kingdom my ad my advisors and nobles sought me out and I was restored to my th throne and because and became even greater than before now I Nebuchadnezzar praise and exalt and glorify the king of heaven because everything he did Everything he does is right, and all his ways are just. And those who walk in pride, he will, or he is able to humble.